end of day two, right? One. Yeah, we worked yesterday, didn't we? No. Yeah, we tore, yes. So we tore out the lath. We got all the lath out yesterday. We one and a half. this morning. No, that was the plaster. Okay. One and a half. Day one and a half. <laughs> I'm saying day one. Day one. We got a little bit of work done yesterday, so. Electrical is roughed in. A lot of outlets. Uh, we got insulation on most of it. I do have to go get, it looks like, two more rolls of insulation. We come up short. I was just guesstimating when we was in the hardware store yesterday. It is Tuesday. I think 12.30. It's getting pretty late. And we are just now getting started. So how's your morning going, Jay? Uh, been a little tedious. Trip to the hardware store was long. But we had a lot of supplies to get for today. Finish I up the... Move some switches that were already here. Uh, what are we doing? Getting ready to dry. Got the drywall. He keeps dropping stuff, and so I have to keep moving your camera. But we are in the dark because we are redoing the outlet for the dining room, which, as Jason alluded to in the first video, every single outlet is connected, so once you shut one thing off, you shut everything off. So he is in a little bit of a time crunch, because my fridge is also out. Which, why would you not connect that to the light switch? Well, that's not where your fridge would normally go. <laughs> your fridge normally wouldn't be plugged into an outlet in the, in the I assume that was the dining room at one time. We're calling it the dining room. But yes, we went. Funny thing was, those on our trip, we got everything we needed. And as we were doing the drywall, or as we were loading up the drywall, Jason looks over and sees the insulation. And we cannot ins or we cannot finish the drywall without the. He's 
making a lot of noise. Can't finish drywall without the insulation, so that would have been really bad if we would have gone into town, gotten all of our stuff, came home, and then realized we don't have any insulation to finish it. But, so where, <gasps> that was the fan, sorry. What are the plans for today? Oh, I'm hoping to get things, I'm hoping to get it drywalled. Get it in, get it drywalled. Are we just drywalling today? Uh, well, that's, well, we got, we got to finish insulating, which is like four pockets, basically. And if we can get it insulated and drywalled and a coat of mud on, I'll call it a win today. We have other things that we have to do today. Um, unfortunately, we had a family member pass. And so we are taking a meal to some family members. Um, so that's going to cut into a little bit. So we will, like Jay said, if we can get the ceiling hung and some drywall on, we will be happy with today. Get the get the drywall jack back from the rental place. Yeah. So we don't have to pay for two days. That will be a lifesaver. Because there's been no way I could have helped you get that up. Our oh, ceilings are nine feet tall. I can't either. They weigh 87 pounds apiece. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, this is just putting in another, or moving the outlet that was, or the, the, outlet was the light be switch too that close was there. The, or yeah, the light switch was going to be too close to the wall. And so we needed to move it out for a little bit away. So that's what he's doing right now. I always find it interesting, though, how you're trying to make one room better and then look at the rest of that house. Like, it is just covered in everything we need. And some things we don't need. But yeah. It is crazy how messy a house gets when you are trying to put something together. Here's our flooring. There's the dishwasher. All of the stuff we need. And eventually all of that will go into the new kitchen. Be nice to have our rooms back to what they're supposed to be. Well, I, this room here to me, I'm not real sure. I mean, that's a lot. I don't know, it's, it's not a great use of space in that room if you ask me. Because this whole wall is just kind of weird yeah there's I mean, that's like a doorway that's right there so we have six doors going into this room we have the door to the porch door to the kitchen this at one time used to be a bedroom but it's a bathroom door you have the door to the outside porch you have a door to the living room and you have another door to the bathroom so you're really limited on what you can do but yes this is i'm assuming it's supposed to be the dining room at least it's going to be our dining room but I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. I'm trying not to get the light, but our little pass-through window. I don't want to lose any of the character of it, but I think once we start fixing the back side of it, I don't know. Well, let me see. Where's my tape measure? It's the drywall and stuff. It's got cute little decorative molding. And we took out the glass doors already. Oh, I, I already cut coming. this one, didn't I, to yeah. get something off? Yeah, that one's already been cut on the back side. But I was just seeing if... It's thicker than... It's, it's a little bit thicker than the drywall. So the drywall would almost bring it out flush. So if we was going to drywall and then shiplap, we'd be awful close to the shiplap side of it. Covering this. Because what we're kind of hoping is to cover it on this side. Then we can put some shelves in here. And then it'd be kind of decorative from the other side. Yep. She could put her can, you know, you could put a lot of canning jars in there and stuff too if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the right aesthetic that you're going for. Something. But if I have to, may I say I might have to trim these, trim those down so that the drywall covers it all up. But now you're talking about not, you're talking about not shiplap in this wall. Well, I mean, we can just. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. But. We'll just have to see. 
Okay, I just Still wanted to give a quick video of what was up, and we're going to try and get power back on and get to going. Well, i got to take down that light. Oh, that's right. That lovely little light is coming down because it's ugly. I kind of like it. I don't. It's not for this room, but not I kind of like it. It doesn't give off very much light. Yes, start of day, three, day and three, three and a half. We got the drywall hung on the ceiling last night. Went to bed at yeah. 11.30? Oh, I don't know if it was quite that late. We didn't get much done yesterday. Had a lot of running around, dinking. I don't think we started hanging these three sheets till 8 o'clock almost. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much dark outside. Got these three sheets hung. It was a little, a small room's kind of hard to deal with just for the simple fact that you're fighting to get the sheets in there. And we got 10 foot lengths so that I could cut them down so they fit the full. So we only have the three seams. We're not sure how we're going to finish them yet. If we're going to do some sort of panel over it just to make it easy to hide it all or if I'm going to finish it. And do a texture. And do a texture or what we're going to do. We just haven't decided yet. Uh, but we put that up so it'll be a little safer for fire. Now I'm putting in the backer boards for the cabinets. I got I got to do the uppers now. I, I got the lower for this side. Because there's only going to be two cabinets on this side besides the stove, the fridge. And then I guess we got the pantry. I don't know how much I'll need a backer board there. I'll probably need a little bit, just because it's going to come out weird. But I have a stud right behind the pantry that I could hit. Yeah, so it'll go pantry, fridge. Pantry, oh. yeah. Yeah, we got like a, what, about a 12-inch wide pantry, the fridge, the stove. No. Oh, no, cupboard. yeah. The counter, yeah, a little cupboard with four drawers in it, stove, and then a uh, cat, another cupboard or counter base and then they'll just be for now we're not we got one upper here and an upper for here and then we're going to see how above the fridge comes out whether we put one up there and then right now everybody's out of stock of range hoods so we're a little on the or kind of are all range hoods the exact same size 
I don't know. I that's, mean, you can get them in different sizes. You know, where we go to put the cabinets in, and then the range doesn't fit because the cabinets are... Yeah. That's my only concern. Yeah. And then the other thing that we have to deal with, too, also, is the old chimney. So, Jay said that we're going to just leave that exposed, but we're going to paint it because it looks awful. I don't like the color of it. If it would have been the brick, it would have been amazing. But Yeah, I'd love not. to tear it down to the brick so the brick was exposed. That'd be pretty cool, but I... I think that'd be a whole week project in and of itself. And I think we'd damage more bricks than what we would be yeah, able to Yeah, there's save. a good chance it wouldn't be anything underneath that's salvageable. But the drywall, the drywall and this are going to be about even on the outside. The drywall, yeah, almost exactly. It's going to come out almost exactly even. So we're just going to leave that exposed, which to be honest, there's only going to be... Well, all you're going to see is the top because there'll be an upper cabinet there, lower cabinet, and then the backsplash. Mm -hmm. So all, the only part that's going to be exposed is that little bit up there anyway. And we have a cover for that. Yeah, so so that's where we're at. Biggest problem with the range hood is if we we're going to exhaust it out, I almost need to get the hole put in now. We'll probably just, I don't know. I didn't like the one we used to have that just filtered right back in, in the old house. So I'll kind of, I don't know, we might figure something out there. But nobody has a white one in stock. I hate to get a stainless. No. This was, a, since all the other appliances are white. No. So, so we got to gotta get these backer boards in, and then we'll start drywalling again. Get these all put up. Most of the drywalls, we're still going to do shiplap on a lot of the walls. But for fire safety, we decided to go ahead and spend the extra money to to uh, drywall it. Even though I absolutely despise it. Yes, we know that. Good morning on day four, four and a half. They're all kind of run together. We didn't get a ton done yesterday. We had to run the, the drywall lift back in. Picked up a few more supplies. Picked up a lot more than we thought we would. Yeah. Yesterday. We got picked a up the rest of the cabinets. Uh, yeah, the rest of the cabinets and some stuff. Uh, put in the backer boards for all the cabinets. That actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, then I did get two, probably two of the harder sheets hung, uh, kind of got that figured out. Got the third one hung this morning. So we got one wall and the ceiling done with the drywall. Uh, we went to the state fair. Daughter was around and she wanted to go to the state fair. And work's always going to be here. Sometimes the fun isn't. Uh, but now we're running into an issue that it is currently raining out and I do not have an indoor place to do the drywall. We do, but it's taken up with cars. Well, I'm not dragging drywall core out there and then drywall sure. core back here. I, I guess we could put on a skid steer or something. But, uh, so we're gonna have to work around that. Hopefully finish getting it drywalled today. I don't think that'd be, depending on the weather, it shouldn't be much of a task really. Like I say, that was the hard wall with all the outlets. These are going to be fairly simple. I mean, there's a few outlets to work around, but not much. Uh, this wall isn't even going to get any finishing, I don't think. I mean, I might do a quick tape job just for the seams for a little more fire resistance. Slows it down a little. And since that's the only reason we're even doing the drywall. So that's where we're at today. We're really hoping to get the drywall and the floor done today. The floor is not getting done today. Yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping to get three walls done today we do that i'll be happy yeah but if we could get the drywall and the floor done today <laughs> well we can't paint the cabinets today either because mm -mm. it's supposed to rain all day 
Uh, I didn't see that in the forecast originally. Or I might have done something different. I don't know. Probably not. So that's where we're at on this rainy day. I think that's about all the all there is to really say about it. We're tired. We are tired. We're sleeping good at night, that's yeah. for sure. It's a lot of work working in such a small room, like trying to get these, you know, you got a sheet of plywood that's or sheetrock that's wider than the room is. And it just it's it's awkward, cumbersome. And like I say, we're having to do most of the stuff outside and then drag it in, drag it out, stuff like that. So but it's it is what it is. We'll work around it. Okay. Well, we're going to try and trim these boards down so they because they stick what an inch and a half into they stick about an inch and a half in well, about roughly a uh, yay far, yay far. <coughs> so I'm going to try and cut these off so then we can sheetrock flat up against there and then that'll give you a nice backing. You can paint, you can do something. You can probably put a chip top over it. Well, oh, on the paint. other side? Mm -hmm. On the other side, if you want. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Then we can put some little shelves in here. It'll probably be a good place to put some of your canning preserves and stuff. And when he says shelves, he means on the opposite side yes. of the dining room. Because yeah. this part will be completely covered. This is, yeah, this will be all covered. Because part of it will be cabinets. Yeah, yeah, because the cabinets, the upper cabinets will be right about here. Because we'll we'll actually start the uppers where the cabinets here work that way, and then whatever space we end up with, we'll just let it be. It'll probably be a good place to put like brooms and mops and stuff. We yes. Uh, and we'll just it'll just be what it is for spacing. So that's the idea there. But yeah, to block this off because yeah, the, the the counter will be what it'll be up to about here about yay high somewhere in here so this will all be covered with counter and that will be covered with cabinets upper cabinets the upper cabinets only going to go to about here-ish somewhere in there i don't remember and so so most of that wall that most of this wall will be covered we still haven't decided what we're doing with the ceiling the sheet rocks actually turn it out better than it always does turn out better than I expect it to. I just loathe doing it. Uh, We're we got, one sheet short because of the rain yeah, damaged the rain, it. Yeah, rain ruined the bottom sheet, which we we were kind of happy we only lost one. Hopefully today we'll actually get, we're going to start with shiplap in this wall. And then, then we can put the cabinets cabinet the sink and the dishwasher in here which should really which just the dishwasher alone will make a big difference that way we can actually get a sink and then i feel and then well it's friday we got a three-day weekend because it's labor day so we'll just keep plugging away at it that's where we're at 
It's sheetrocked, except for one small spot. Are you happy with the way it's coming, honey? Yeah, it just always takes a lot longer than I think. Well, we lost that whole day. We lost a day to rain, basically. We went to the fair one day because our yeah, daughter lost, was with us yeah, wanted to go. We and lost then... half a day there. Then we lost about a half a day dealing just... with the death of the family and buying a rooster. And then somebody <laughs> dropped a rooster off. So we lost some time there. Yeah, it's just, we had a lot of little interruptions. And that, you know, a half hour interruption puts you behind an hour and a half because you got to figure out where you were at to get going again. Yep. So. We'll have Jason add in what the new roosters look like. It's Lord Farquaad and Lulu Lemon Drop. So I really didn't want to do it that way, but probably should have tarped this up or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'll clean it. It's a mess, but you do all the hard work. I'll clean it. It's a good thing I have about thirty different ways to cut stuff. afternoon it is currently Sunday afternoon we lost most of yesterday to a funeral and we actually went and picked up two more ducks because that's the type of people we are now we go and drive 20 miles or 30 minutes 50. 40, 50 miles to pick up two ducks Jay told me oh it's just Carney it's just a little bit 50 miles later yeah that's right. but we did get one wall completely shiplap and we kind of wanted to do one wall and see what we thought. He says completely because this area that you can see here that's not done is going to be where the cabinets is at. So yeah, it is actually completely done because yeah. we will. Here, I probably will put a little strip right here because the cabinet won't come all the way. But we're just going to use drop pieces when we're done. We'll just quick, you know, use. 80. I I can say we got to measure and see how far the counter comes, the cabinet comes over. But so we went and picked up more shiplap. It's in the back of the pickup, but we really like the way it turned out. We think it really sets off the pink door nicely. Yeah. So I I'm really excited how this is going to look against the green cabinets. No. 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 Should we paint the cabinets pink? No. To match the door? No. No. So, so what are you doing with the pink door? We're painting it white. We're painting the pink door white? Yeah. I Sorry about all pink. the moving. I Our was... house ain't level, so we're trying to put everything yeah. underneath it to make the camera If you level. saw the last video, you saw the, how <laughs> unlevel it is. So we're, we're, I thought it was painting the black door white or something. Isn't that a Rolling Stone song? No clue. All right. Anyhow, we like the way the ship lap turned out. We think it looks really good, so we went and got more. And we're going to do all four walls with it. The room's pretty tiny and a lot of it's going to be covered up with um, cabinets and other things. So it's not going to be just a room of just square or of the lines and stuff. Yeah. And so uh, Jay likes this a lot better than uh, finishing the drywall. Because again, what do you like about drywall? Absolutely nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely nothing about drywall. I'll have to count how many times he says I hate drywall in this video. And actually, I believe the word is loathe. <laughs> Hate's not really strong enough. I'm not sure why you make something, if you look at it crooked, it breaks. But it's really hard to cut. Yep. So, I don't know. I can say, I loathe it. I just can't believe in 100 years they ain't come up with something better. And maybe somebody from the Gypsum Manufacturing Association wants to tell me why I'm wrong. I don't know. And what I'm doing. On wrong. to the next thing. <laughs> so today, so yeah, we got the, the shiplap up, and I guess now we're just gonna finish shiplapping this. 
Uh, we got today and then tomorrow's Labor Day, so we have two days. I hope we can get it all. All the I would think so. A lot of it. Well, like, we should get most of the ship on the sides. You yeah. went real fast yesterday. Yeah, I think we could probably. It depend a little bit on how fast we work, how on task we stay. We don't want this stuff to kill us working on it. You know, we it is work, but it's not a chore. Is what I kind of told her that you know doing this stuff with her. It, I, I it is work, but it's not a chore, and I don't want to make it a chore because this is supposed to be a somewhat enjoyable adventure of ours. So we'll work on this today uh, and hopefully get this all shiplap up today. We still haven't decided what we're doing with the ceiling. I we, think I want that paneling. We've kind of looked at, yeah, some different paneling. It's Wayne's coating paneling. It's just going to be how Jason wants to seam it. I don't want the seams just to be there and go so yeah. if he does something with like a beam or something yeah i'll be happy with that or we might finish it i just the thing is our studs weren't real flat i guess you'd say they weren't plumb so we have i mean i have a bad feeling even if we finished it and i did a superb job the best anybody's ever seen it's still gonna look like crap because of what we've got up above what you know what we screwed it to I don't know if you can see this one like I did some chalk lines and on this side uh, that's where the stud ended because of the right. chimney here and then there's where the other side it's about eight inches difference you can see I could not figure out why in the world I was missing the stud with the screws well after chalk line in it, I figured that out. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're currently uploading the first part of this video. So hopefully there's some people actually starting to watch. Um, and so you'll see us demo and kind of get to this point. We'll uh, probably put it out in stages. So yeah. Kind we of, did the demo. We'll do the ship lap. Yeah. Do the cabinets. Yeah. But we're hoping. Install. We're really hoping if we can get the ship lock done today, maybe tomorrow, figure out what we're going to do for the ceiling. And then we're with the during the week, it's hard to do much because we only got a couple hours after we get home from work. But get it all kind of everything all kind of ready. And then hopefully next weekend we could paint this and paint the cabinets. Yep. And then we'd really be we'd really be on our way to getting it done. We hope to have it done this week, but we kind of knew better. So, so yeah, that's where we're at. Until next time. The ship lap is done. So, took one more trip to go get three pieces. We were short. Man, for a total of three trips into town. For the ship lap for alone. For just the ship lap alone. But it turned out, well, originally we were only going to do this one wall. And I thought it turned out looked pretty nice. It does. And I think it turned out pretty decent. The corners are far from perfect as far as gaps and stuff. The reason for that is these walls are not plumb. They're not straight. You can actually see, like over here, that the boards, the shiplap is level. I mean, it is level. Pretty much perfect. But on this side, we have about a half inch gap. On this side, it's more like an inch and a half. And that's just over nine feet. So, I mean, you can kind of tell there's, you know, there's a huge gap there, no gap there. And I actually had to trim the board to fit on this end. We knew we were gonna run into stuff like that. You know, we're not fixing it this go around. You know, we're just going to make it look as best we can. I suppose when I do ceiling trim and stuff like that, there's going to be some fudging to get by. But that's, it is what it is. This we didn't cover because it's all going to be covered in cabinets. And then we are going to do probably a subway tile backsplash. That's what my wife really wants. And I says, well, I'll, I'll do it. This we just 
covered just enough to where the will be showing past the cabinet because this will be behind the dishwasher and the cabinet so no sense in the extra expense of putting shiplap back there we were able to just use drops so to hang it we glued, we glued it and then I have I used my two and a half inch finish nailer with two inch with two inch screws or two yeah I used two inch 16 gauge nails uh, I actually had bought an inch and three quarter and I had inch and a half already and the two inch drove in all the way and I figured more is better in this case. We did glue each panel before we hung it. Before you say more is better, I'm going to show them that more is not oh, always better. I forgot about this part. Yeah, more is not always better, Jay. See all well, those? I went, I just going by my... Yeah, he only realized it halfway through. He's like, uh... <laughs> and so I'm like, so yeah. we'll be fixing that later. That's no big, it's not a big deal. But that's how far the extra screws were going to go into the Well, but the others all went into studs. Yes. And I forgot, I had my, we chalk lined all our studs, but I, once I got here, I forgot that that's open to the other side. And then we are far from a how-to channel, but I thought I'd show... As you can tell, we have a lot of outlets we had to go around. And what I found, what I did is I took a little piece of drop and I would just put it on there, you know, and slide it over to the outlet like so, and then just mark it. And then when I went outside, I could just butt it up and I had it right where it needed to be line-wise. You know, because you, you've got some, you know, you got your steps on each side, so you got to work with that a little bit. You know, and then that would be like my distance, you know, one side of the outlet box, to the other side of the outlet box from whichever wall I was working off of. But, you know, I thought that worked kind of slick. You know, I could just, like I say, put it up there, slide it up, make your marks. And that's how I marked my outlet boxes. And they came out pretty darn good. This wall is not good. It's mostly going to be hidden because cabinets are going to go to here ish these are the ones we could not get the corners to line up at well all. i think there's these are our worst boards we saved them for this wall yes they've got bow they they actually are bowed this way and okay. so we ended up we also had to work with the chimney yeah the chimney's there so and so that one but we're going to use like a, we'll probably use a half inch quarter round molding in the corners to try and to kind of finish the corners. If this was something permanent we were doing, if the, I mean, if this was a little more, I don't know. Our only kitchen we're ever remodeling. Yeah, yeah, if I was remodeling a kitchen that was, you know, if it was a fresh construction or something like that, I'd have put a lot more effort into getting these all nice. But like I say, the wall isn't plumb, so these are pretty dang close to 90. I mean, those, my miter box cuts real nice 90s, but that, like I say, the wall is not quite straight, I don't think. I and think you did excellent. Uh, it's, it's decent. So, so the, the ship lap's done. I would say that's, that was probably, well, I, we still have to decide what we're doing with the ceiling. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll spend the week. We'll spend the week filling all these little nail holes with putty, getting them sanded down, and then... Doesn't that sound like fun? Well, it's better than drywall. <laughs> but once we get that done, we will set it up probably next Saturday or Friday night, maybe. And we'll paint it. I'm going to use my sprayer. Uh, we got to sand that door because I don't know. That going away. Yeah, for some reason she doesn't like the pink. I can't. Every it. room in this house has this color in it. Every single yeah. room. The previous owner obviously was a fan of pink. And there's pink carpet. There's yeah. a pink bathroom. The yeah. dining room's pink. The yeah. living room. Well, she didn't. The molding in there is still the it's wood. wood. It's still wood. But, but there's pink carpet and. Yeah, pink carpet. But so that's that's where we're at. This is. End of the. It is. We gotta go Monday. back to work tomorrow. Yeah, it's Monday, so 
and I think it's two o'clock-ish. Something yeah, something like that. like that. We did not get near as far as I was hoping, but I think I got further than I planned. Yep. <laughs> I think, yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So. I'm extremely happy with where we're at right now. Like I said, the next stuff is all stuff we can kind of do at night. Yeah. Well, once we get it sprayed, once we get it painted, then we put the floor down. And then like, I'm pretty much going to float the cabinets above the flooring because nothing's level. So I'm going to just kind of build the cabinets to level because that is something I want level and plumb is the cabinets. Yes. Of course, I guess if they tilt back far enough, we'll have those fancy self-closing drawers. No. I don't like making my eggs and having to keep them from rolling out the back of the griddle. Yeah. But here's but yeah, the So that's floor. our, that's where we're at. Part of his floor job is going to have to be fixing the hole he created that goes down to the scary, scary little basement. So we had to put a hole in there for, well, most of it, I think it was already broken part No, one. it wasn't. You did all of that. I think it was already partially broken. That's no. why I chose right there. I don't believe so. But I had to run wiring for the furnace. When they put the new furnace in, we had to wire it up for the furnace. So the old furnace didn't have any power to it. It was a gravity furnace. And they basically said we would have blown the house up if we would have tried to light it. <laughs> that was weak. I mean, that, well, was, that was about winter time. So we were winter. several months in. Yeah. If only we'd known. Could have got a free house. Yeah. Could have blown this one up. So... That's where we're at. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.